Hi, my name is Second Lieutenant Frank Huang, and I want to talk about how my idea revolves around getting our airmen the tools they need at the speed of relevance. Imagine for a moment that you're an airman just starting your new job. Your job requires you to have access to 10 Air Force software programs, but two of which are new programs, so you have to go and dig around and find out what the programs are and who can give you access. Great. A week goes by, and after playing phone tag, you got the information you needed. You go ahead and write up your appointment letters and route it to your supervisor, who routes it to your flight commander, who routes it to the superintendent, who routes it to the squadron commander's secretary, who routes it to the squadron commander, who might route it up even further depending on who the approval authority is. Okay, great. A few days go by. Now you got those letters signed. Now you have to go down and track down the person who controls access to the software system you need. You send an email to a single point of contact who's either too busy or is out of the office. A few more days go by. You get a reply. Sorry, I'm not the right person, but here's the right person. Fine. You get in contact with that person and you get the access you needed. 30 days after you needed that software access in the first place. This is the ideal scenario in my squadron and group. When it comes to getting access to the software systems the Air Force spend millions and billions on to help our airmen do their job. Worst case scenario, we have airmen who have spent almost up to a year chasing down permissions to tools that were built for them. Worst of all, sometimes they don't even know what software tools are out there for them to use. This cycle repeats every time a new Air Force program comes out or when airmen swap out of their jobs. What are the culprits of this big problem? First, it's a lack of knowledge of the vast number of software tools that are available in the entire Air Force. Second, the use of appointment letters that are static and can never be quickly amended as the mission requires, but whose structure is so rigid that we spend more time crafting them as opposed to getting the mission done. So how do we deal with this problem? Here's my idea. I'm proposing what I call the Air Force User Software Management System. This system will have two key functions. First, it'll eliminate appointment letters by making this whole software access request workflow completely digital. No more appointment letters. You just go through the system and you click and you request permissions based on what kind of jobs and duties that you have. Secondly, by going digital and making this basically this user request access workflow digital, it now makes this data available to a database to learn and figure out what are the programs typically that you would need as an airman doing a particular job. So for example, if you're a resource advisor, this database would be able to suggest to you what kind of tools you would need because there are past data points that have already been logged in the system. So by going digital, we'll be able to give airmen the tools we have spent countless hours and dollars to develop into the hands of airmen at the speed of relevance.